Sorry about that. We are back with more Greedfall. Let's, uh... Get out of here. Thank you, Desaudet. My pleasure. But why didn't you tell him who you were? But I did tell him. I was stupid. I resented everyone, you even more, for the life I didn't get to live. You had it all, everything I thought I was entitled to. But after seeing Bastion, I realized that in the end, I was exactly who I wanted to be. A naught, and a proud one of that. I'm glad to hear it. No more regrets? No more regrets. And I certainly don't regret not being called Leandra Darcy. <laughs> Okay, yeah. All that's well and good, but we're also under attack. We clear? I think we're clear. <coughs> I immediately spotted that you are a real science enthusiast. I have all the potions you could ever dream of. And other things, too. We also sell ingredients, and we even craft on demand. So, what would you like? Uh, well, let's see. I have a few pieces of armor here. Wait, wait. Uh, this ingredients consumables. Let's actually buy. Did I miss the health potions? Oh, there they are. Oh, that's major ones. I want regular ones. Oh my god. So that old serene boots, officer's boots, create yeah, let's sell these. Made a bit of a profit there. Oh, my God, I was about to pass it. Can I talk? Oh, God. My apologies, Kurt. Let's talk. Green blood. Tell me. Do you remember that young recruit I spoke to you about? Yes, I, I do. I would still like to present him to you. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? Yes, I would. But of course. Let's go. All is ready. Oh, nope, confirm. Back to New Serene. Thing I can use doesn't really look like it also a big no that's not changing a 
old serene okay so i do need to invest in endurance that's right i forgot about that just that quickly let's see if we can give kurt an armor upgrade or two though enough supplies for that I'm out of one iron ore okay it's in the barracks I had thought you a lone wolf with only our good friend in your pack but I was mistaken I am full of surprises pretty she wolf are you flirting over there, Kurt? Right, let's go to the barracks. Speak to the recruit, find him. Oh, can't go across that. Oh my god. Guys, thank you. Move. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers, may we be of service. Rank and assignment, soldiers. Recruit, First Class, Blue Silver Regiment, 8th Company, Your Excellency. The Blue Silver Regiment is made up of men attributed to serve the Congregation of Merchants. I'm one of them, and the 8th Company was sent to Tier for D, with two other companies. Anything else, Excellency? What is your charge? Maintain order in the city, Excellency. Anything else, Excellency? Okay, well, let's ask about Rainier. I'm looking for the soldier, Rayner. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene. Just before our departure. But that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, sh should I have a word with the Quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? Uh, no. Thank you. That will be all. At ease, soldiers. All right, Manfred. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rayner. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rayner? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Informed about what? He is dead. He was found, drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. At least you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Thanks, Manfred. No, thank you. All right, so he said the morgue's downstairs? Well now, a visit. Can I help you with something? Yeah, please, uh... Talk We're about here Rainier. concerning the matter of Recruit Rainer. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. All right, uh, what date did he arrive? Details concerning the death. 
Ask to see the body. When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seemed to share. Rayner was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn. And they brought him to me. I see. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. I mean, well, people who know how to swim can still drown, but let's see the body. Might we take a look at the body? Um, no, I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain, I cannot allow that. Really? Why is that? I have, as of yet, to present myself. I'm Lady de Sarde, Legate of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier D. And as the title infers, I have the power to inspect this barracks and all that it contains. Therefore, I must insist. I see. A thousand pardons, Excellency. I should have recognized you and shown more respect. It's the body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. In here? This doesn't look like the body of young Rainer. He looks like he got fucked, though. This one is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my Rainer. Poor kid. I should have left him with his family where he was. We'll need to examine the body to learn more. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. I'm no doctor. But this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. It looks like he's been beaten. It's suspicious. The boy I knew would never have drunk himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay, I'm telling you. I believe you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Uh, uh, what are we picking up? The book? Subject in 9 under 20, several, uh, Hamalian, uh, Hama however you say that, uh, <laughs> on in the entirety of the body surface, some recent uh, uh, than others, forearm bones broken, uh, lesions on the hands, several broken ribs, skull sunken, damn, uh, likely the cause of death. Yeah, he was beaten to death. Hey, Doc. Excuse me, Doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. Yeah, but your own notes... That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read. But the word drowning never appears. What an idiot. I should have burned those notes. I am truly sorry. I, I swear I have never, ever falsified a report before. But I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? <laughs> Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual, but the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. 
I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess they're ranked by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively, and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. Andevors Tire. That means, may the earth welcome him. I am sorry for you, Kurt. Thank you, Siora. Oh, We've all become a little tight family in such a short time. Manfred, explain. What can I do for you? We have a situation, Manfred. Rainer didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. No who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And who wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rainer assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, this I need is to get very to the bottom strange, of this very... mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. This Even if the time. lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rainer was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. Okay. So we're going to check out the tavern first, I guess. Wait, there's a door. There's the door. Just brings us right across. Can't talk to anybody down here. So we head upstairs. Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lady. De Sardé, legate of the congregation on Tier D. Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Excuse me, Excellency. I... I didn't know. Captain, I... I truly am sorry. At your service, my lady. Excellency. All right. Formal presentation. Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah, yes, my lady. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. I joined up four months ago. But at the beginning, we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene, but I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the Guard, to come here, to leave the continent. Know what I mean? I do. Anything else? Uh, do you know Rainier? Seen him, talked to him? Do you know a recruit him? going by the name of Rainer? Rainer? I... It's just... Excellency, please. The boy is terrified now that he knows who we are. So long as he's in that state, he'll say nothing of worth. You should bring him a bottle to calm his nerves. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Let's, uh, hey buddy, give me some brandy. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. Let's see what we can get out of them first before we ask anybody else. At your service, my lady. Excellency. Here. You seem tired and a little on edge. 
A drink would do you some good. It's just that I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave, or you wouldn't be at the tavern. Then why not? Yes, but this is His Excellency's own bottle. I don't know if I can. Drink, I tell you. Now then, why don't you tell us what you know about Rayner? Well, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, and, uh, followed orders. And then, poof, Lieutenant got this order, and he wasn't happy. And I mean really quite unhappy. And then Rayner, he was gone. We never saw him again. We asked where he'd been sent, but the Lieutenant didn't want to tell us. Said that it was none of our business. But you, he won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink, too. Where can we find your lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Okay. I don't know why I went out, but you know what? It's kind of quicker to just go around anyway. Confront the lieutenant. Oh, wait, no, not upstairs. I'm just going at it. Lieutenant? Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Yeah. Could you tell me which company you serve? The 11th, Excellency. Anything else? Definitely. I need you to speak on an What's assignment. What's your assignment? The 11th is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits and the patrol duty roster. Anything else? We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Rayner. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rayner belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say. Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you've a captain in front of you. I... I know. But this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes. Of course. But you have no idea what's been going on here. If word got round that I've been talking, come back after sundown, when there's fewer folk. Very well. We'll be back. <sighs> Anything else? No, and he's not happy about that. Um... Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. That man was shaking and looking over his shoulder. As if he thought a predator had caught his scent. Whatever could terrify your warriors to jitter so. I don't know yet. But I will find out, Siora. Yeah, definitely. We have been dealing with guard-related conspiracies since we got here. So we're gonna go sleep on it. And see what we can do. Okay, here we go. Residence is just up ahead. Said after at night time, so Let's just go now. Oh, what's this? 
Here's hoping he's still alive by the time we get there, or hasn't fled. Who in God's name? Okay, lovely. through here once more. You alive? Dead? What? We are quite alone now. You may speak to us. Reyna was indeed a member of my company. And an excellent recruit. But you already know that. Continue. One morning I got a note telling me he'd been transferred from my company. He'd received a new assignment. I was so furious that I did my own little investigation to see where he'd been sent. It wasn't easy. No one wanted to give me answers. No one seemed to know anything. But one thing's for certain. Reyna wasn't the only man to have... disappeared. I learned that a good many recruits, all the cream of the crop, had been reassigned. And finally, I learned about the existence of a phantom regiment. What sort of nonsense really? are you talking about? A sort of secret, elite company that were following a special training program. Where can we find them? I've no idea. I had to put my investigation to rest. Things were getting dangerous. I began to sense I was being watched. This regiment protects its secrets at all costs with few scruples. If you want to know more, the training officer of the Sixths might know something. It's been said that he took part in one of their missions, alongside them. Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rayner, Excellency. Go and see the officer of the Sixths if you want to learn more. All right, all right, relax. Relax. Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. All right, let's go find the Sixths regiment officer. He's upstairs. We gotta find him dead. Let's see what we can do in here. Anything I can loot? Nope, just guard standing around. Is he in here? It looked like he was in here. Ah! Oh, what was that? Thought I saw something. Good day, Lieutenant. Excellency, what's your pleasure? What company do you serve? The Sixth Excellency. Anything else? To where are you assigned? The Sixth Company is in charge of exploration and expansion of the colony of the Congregation of Merchants on the island. We operate mainly in the wilderness areas, in direct contact with the natives. But don't worry, we respect to the letter, Congregation, directives and standing orders. We avoid all confrontation with them as much as possible. Anything else? Yeah, the Ghost Regiment. Tell me about the Phantom Regiment. About what? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Your Excellency. <coughs> Are you certain you don't know where this Phantom Regiment camp can be found? Absolutely certain. And to be honest, I hope I never hear about this matter again. Rayner was one of my recruits, Lieutenant. A young man that I admired. He was killed. His death was disguised. We've been lied to time and time again. Thanks to my friend, we finally learned that the boy had rejoined the Phantom Regiment. 
And so now, you're gonna tell me all you know without being a weasel about it. Trust me, you don't want me to lose my nerve. But, Captain, I... Now! I've seen the regiment. Even fought beside them on an operation. On that occasion, our marching orders were kept secret until the last minute. We were asked to remove our regiment emblems. And our pay wasn't even recorded. And of course, we were ordered to speak to no one about it under any circumstances. I hope you realize the risk I'm taking talking to you about all this. No, I get no it. fear. We understand. What was this operation? An attack. A lightning strike on a caravan from the Bridge Alliance. Marvelous. A company that behaves like back alley bandits. Lovely. I know. It really shakes up the honor code. The regiment is made up of young recruits, carefully chosen. Only the best make it through. The training is extremely arduous. And my guess is that Rainer isn't the only one who's died from it. I know that they set up camp just outside the city, where the men live and train. But I'd be at a loss to tell you precisely where it's found. Sorry, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. This story is making me sick. Poor Rainer. If I'd have known, I'd never have recruited him. It's not your fault, sorry, man. Kurt. This isn't your doing. But these filthy phantoms, or whatever they are, are gonna have to settle the debt. Believe me. You do realize that your own commander is certainly involved in this on some level. Outright clandestine operations could not have taken place without his approval. That he's aware of the existence of the regiment, there is no doubt. That he approves of what they're doing. It wouldn't be the first head that didn't know what his hands were up to. What do you wish to do now? I'm gonna find the location of this camp. I have a few friends that can certainly help us. And when I know where to smoke out these bastards, I'll go and have a few fiery words. If you were of a mind to accompany me, two of us would not be too many to make sure they settle their debts. Let me know when you discover where they are to be found. You can count on me. All right. Well, Kurt's on the warpath, for God's sakes. All right, let's level up. Got one point. Attributes, what do we got? Agility, endurance, let's go endurance. And then we'll do start going into agility later. Oh, this is not where I meant to go. But you got something to loot, so. Only two gold though. Oh, it said three, not two. There we go. Down we go. Go take a nap. I think that's the not uh, where we need to go in here. back sleep for five hours and see what Kurt has for us nope I keep thinking there's a way around that way and there's not okay sleepy time Nineteen hours, oh my god. Just shy of five. Alright. Vasco wants help. Uh Kurt, you got anything? Green blood, my friend. My contacts have spoken. I was able to discover the location of this infamous phantom training camp. Do you still think they should be held accountable? More than ever. You know that I recruited Rainer. I want to know what kind of hornet's nest I led him into. I want to know what these madmen did. Understood. But I fear if I go alone, I might not be able to control myself. And I won't learn anything. I need the help of my best student. 
All right, let's go. How can I refuse such a request? Well then, let's go. All is well. Uh, Vasco, you wanted to talk? Glad to see you, my friend. I intend to prove to the Admiral that I fully identify as a knot once more. Without regrets, I will have to go through a test of loyalty. It will certainly be dangerous, but with your help, I am convinced that I will succeed. But I see you are not available at the moment. Come back to see me once you are free. Okay. Do you want anything else? Nope. I must leave you. Alright, so we're headed like right around here. Let's work on getting that armor. But is it not? Oh, I probably got to buy it at New Serene. Oh no, here it is. Oh my god. Anything I can sell? I kind of want to keep that around. can go I suppose that I guess can also go magic explosion damage any junk nope let's see about upgrading this a little bit Can't do that. What am I missing? Crude iron ore. I might be able to buy that from the merchant. Let's see. Hey, buddy. Give me. All that is 16. That, that works for me. Nope, no, 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 no. And Wow. Okay. There we go. All dressed up in armor. Okay. So. Going around this way. Just deep out in the wilds. It's saying that uh, the the combat music is going, so something dangerous is around here. The question is what? All right, I think we're going the right way. Uh, take your feathers. Oh, shit. Things are about to get dicey. 
There we go. This is it. Let's see what we can find out. I was informed of your arrival by my sentinels, but I didn't think it would be you, Kurt. Rolf! You're the leader of this camp. You two know each other. We train together. We haven't seen each other in a long time. A very long time. The world of warriors is very small, Kurt. What brings you here, my old comrade? And who are these people with you? They're not one of us. I would My have figured someone Sade. here would be involved. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. And I'm Siora, Donegad, of the Gaius Rad. These people sure are important. So, what are you doing here? I've heard things about this place. About this very special camp. And we wanted to see what it was all about with our own eyes. That's very nice of you, but visitors aren't welcome in this camp. What goes on here is only the guard's business. Does the same apply to me? Listen, Kurt. I can give you and your friends some answers, but only because it's you. Anyway, knowing you as well as I do, I'm aware I'm not going to get rid of you that easily. So, what would you like to know? Um, well, what is the purpose of the camp? What is it you do here? And why is this place kept secret, even from your comrades in the guard? The natives have their magic, and we have to train elites to be able to face them. That's what we're doing here. Our role is sensitive, and our location obviously cannot be revealed to the whole island. Does this man not realize that I'm a Donegad? I noticed you're a native, but you're a friend of Kurt's, so I trust you will be discreet. I see the reason for this kind of training. The Bridge Alliance would be particularly interested in soldiers like these. And yet I've never heard of this elite squadron. We're still in the early stages of the program. We don't want to rush things. And our leaders demand secrecy. Orders are orders. Mm -hmm. This is a huge camp for such a secret location. How's it organized? The main building is reserved for officers and the wounded. The front and rear of the camp are dedicated to combat training. But most exercises take place outside. Impressive. And how do you manage recruitment? Only the best come here. Those who have combat experience. Once they arrive, they're separated into two squadrons, each led and trained by a lieutenant. But you already know all of this, Kurt. It must bring back memories. Yes. Will you tell us about your training? That's a sensitive topic. Most exercises take place in the field to get the men used to it. The natives' knowledge of the environment gives them as much of an advantage as their magic. But if you want to know more, you should ask my lieutenant instructors. Well, then let's talk to them. Actually, we found out about this camp while we were looking for someone. A kid I recruited. Rainer. Oh, I didn't know it was one of yours. My condolences. I was told he died in an accident in the harbor. Don't insult my intelligence, Rolf. All right. Since you're here, I guess there's no point in lying to you anymore. The accident occurred during a maneuver. It's regrettable, but these things happen, you know? We've taken up enough of your time, Captain. I agree, and I have things to do. I'd like to question your lieutenant instructors, if you don't mind. To ask them about Rayner. You've become a real sap. <sighs> Fine. But try not to disrupt the day's schedule too much. Goodbye. Thanks, Rolf. I'm sorry. I couldn't contain my anger. <sighs> I get I it. Noticed. Good thing you know this captain so well. I don't think he would have let us investigate otherwise. I'm not sure it's a good thing, really. You don't seem to like this man. Rolf doesn't bring back good memories for me. 
But let's continue. I want to know what's going on here. Understood. Lieutenant. Captain. My friend here would like to learn more about this camp. At your orders, Captain. Madam. Can you tell us about your squadron? The recruits who come here are the best. And in my squadron, they get even better. I don't know what else to tell you. They're disciplined, rigorous, and effective. Exactly what you'd expect from the best soldiers. Okay. And what training? kind of training takes place in your ranks? Combat in natural settings. Combat against the savage's magic. I'm very curious about how you train against the magic the natives use. Now these are complex, secret maneuvers. I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you anymore. That's a pity. It would definitely be instructive. Did you know Rainer? Did you train him? I heard the recruit Rainer trained here. What can you tell me about him? Oh, he was a good one. He died a little while ago. So we've heard. Your captain told us he died during a maneuver. Can you tell us more? The training we do outside can be dangerous. Unfortunately, Rainer fell to his death in a ravine. He fell? During a simulated ambush. I know, it's not glorious, but it happens. I'd like to get back to work now, if you'll allow it, Captain. Go on. We're gonna go talk to some of your recruits. I hope that it won't take too long. We're all very busy here. We'll be quick, Lieutenant. The story about training against magic is a lie. This Definitely. Lieutenant has no idea what he's talking about. So what could they be training recruits for here, then? I don't know. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Okay. Let's talk to the recruits. Soldier! Yes, Captain. At ease. We have some questions for you. Me? At your orders, Captain. You look exhausted. Is training that rough here? Well, it's difficult at first, but you get through it. Taming fatigue. That's the key to it all. Haven't you ever wanted to stop? You've never doubted your vocation. I'm not a coward, nor a weakling. The strength of the shadow. What is that? Your motto? Our squadrons, Captain. I see. You seem concerned about your comrades. You keep looking at them. No, no, not at all. Are you afraid of what they might think of you? Absolutely not, Captain. We are all of one mind in this squadron. We are very united. Sure, what about Rainier? Since this is such a close-knit squadron, you must have known Rainer. Yes, of course. But he's not part of the squadron any longer. He left. Really? I don't know what you're trying to get me to say, Captain. Rainer left the squadron because he was sent on a mission. There's nothing more to say. Sorry, mate, but that's not what happened. I, I don't know anything more. Thank you. That will be all. Thank you, madam. Captain. Good heavens. Yeah, clearly I feel like terrified. A body, man. These recruits are clearly scared to let any information slip. It's as if their life depended on it. It very much might depend on it. Rainer might have accidentally told somebody something. Lieutenant. Respectfully, Captain. Here is my friend, the legate of the merchant congregation. She would like to ask you a few questions. At your orders. I'm listening, sires. How do the various squadrons in this camp differ from one another? The recruits I train are intended to carry out more subtle actions. Really? What kind? I teach them how to blend into the background, understand customs, observe, and know when to strike. That's strange. These skills are normally associated with assassins rather than soldiers. These skills are always useful, regardless of the enemy or the setting. Understood. How are they trained? What kind of training do your men undergo? I can't go into details, but they learn discipline and to outdo themselves. You mean to blindly follow orders, even to their death? But I... No, Captain. We also teach them to analyze situations, so that they know when to act to avoid risking their lives. Right. And how'd you get here? How did you become an instructor <coughs> in this camp? I have led numerous squadrons before, and I've trained hundreds of recruits on the continent. I worked with Captain Rolf in the past, and when I arrived on the island, he recommended me for this position. 
That's very impressive. And I expect that you're familiar with the natives' environment and magic. Yes, yes, of course. Kurt, don't you think that someone this talented fits what we're looking for? You see, we need to find someone who can replace Kurt to oversee my cousin's security. Your cousin is a governor of New Serene, I've heard. It's a prestigious position. I don't doubt my abilities, but an offer like this, made so suddenly, must have a price. We can't hide anything from you. We're trying to find out what happened to Rayna, a recruit who trained here. That name doesn't sound familiar. He must have been in the Shadow Squadron. The other Lieutenant's squadron? Yes. I'm sorry. Haven't been much use to you. Did something happen to him? He's he dead. died. His body was thrown into the harbor to make it look like he drowned. I guess it was one of your recruits. My condolences, Captain. We'll question some of your soldiers. At your orders, but please be quick. I'd like to get on with training. Okay, let's hop down. Gotta figure out how to hop down. You, sir. Hello, soldier. Captain. We need information. Your instructor authorized us to question you. Of course, madam. I'm listening. What's it like in your squadron? Very good. The Phantom Squadron is made up only of the very best. Do you trust your comrades? We're like five fingers on one hand, madam. I would trust them with my life. You've sure got the military spirit. Yes, Captain. Yeah, you do. All right. How about training? How would you describe your training? Is it brutal? Do you train outside the camp much? Yes, we do. Well, not exclusively. Really? Yet we've been told that your unit specialized in actions over difficult terrain. Oh, uh, yes, I think so. Well, yes, that's true. Problems remembering things, soldier. No, Captain. We've learned that a recruit died in an accident during a maneuver. Does this happen often? Uh, no, of course not. Only to those who aren't strong enough. That's strange. Mm -hmm. I was told that this recruit was very talented. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's possible. If Sounds you don't like mind, I'd like to get back to my training. He seems afraid that an accident might befall him too. No. It's not that. I just don't want to fall behind schedule. Very well. Go on. Excellent. Captain. These kids are scared to death. Yes. This boy's answers about his training seem pretty dubious to me. You can't hide the lies. And you? Soldier. Captain. At ease, soldier. We'd like to learn more about your training. I have nothing to say about it, my lady. Really? Go on, it's not a difficult question. What do you do during training? Is this a test, Captain? No, it's not a test. You may speak freely. Well, training is difficult, but we can't complain, Captain. Mm, that's an interesting way to phrase it. And how about the squad? Do you like them? Are you friendly? You're very you united doing? in the squadron. At least that's what I've been told. United? You could say that, yes. Until death. That's rather sinister. Does the name Reyna sound familiar to you? Yeah. Uh, well, no, not really. You seem rather hesitant. Afraid of being reprimanded by your lieutenant? No. Well, not at all. It's just that I can't tell you anything about recruit Reyna. And we're lucky to have the lieutenant as our instructor, Captain. We should leave this soldier to his work. Your name, soldier? Wilhelm. Uh, First class recruit Wilhelm, Spectre Squadron. Keep it up, Wilhelm. All right. Lieutenants, report. Captain. Could you give us a few minutes and take us around the site? I've never been here before, and I'm curious to see what goes on. I'm not sure if we can, Captain. We are on duty, Captain. Right, Lieutenant. Let's go. I... Are you coming with <laughs> us? No, thank you. I'd rather stay here. Take in some fresh air. As you like. In that case, see you later. And talk to Wilhelm again. Good distraction. Just basically force him to give you a tour. 
Wilhelm, we need to talk. And don't worry, Captain Kurt will make sure your superior doesn't come this way. Why are you doing this? We didn't think you'd say anything as long as she was here. If you noticed, others will have too. They'll make me pay. Even more reason to talk. If we have proof, we can take action and close this camp. <sighs> Very well. What would you like to know? What's really going on here? We know that Reyna didn't die in an accident. This is supposed to be a training camp for the guards' elite. Only the most talented recruits are allowed to join. This is an immense honor, an extraordinary chance. That's what we're told every day. But in reality, it's just hell. Really? Tell me about the training you undergo here. It's more torture than anything else. We're constantly beaten and humiliated, and the slightest complaint only leads to more blows. They even push us to police one another, so we don't dare talk. Whatever the orders, we put our heads down, grit our teeth, and obey. And they call us barbarians. We could never put our own children through this. I heard them tell you about the specialist training against the natives in hostile environments. But what they teach us would be more useful for assassins. Yeah, I've figured that out. As for Reyna, do you know what happened to him? Yes. One day he just couldn't stand it any longer. He disobeyed orders, he fought back, and people got hurt. That's when things blew up. They summoned him for night training. What does that entail? It doesn't have much to do with real training. They call us up for it at the last minute. The weakest serve as punching bags for the others, who are encouraged to beat them. If we refuse, we too become the targets. So we join in and strike. If you're looking to punish Rain as murderer, you can start with me. We all have his blood on our hands. Thank you for telling us all of this. You should get back to your comrades. I hope you can do something. Have this camp closed. Otherwise, I'll soon be as dead as Reyna. We understand the risk you've taken. We won't let you down. That's utterly psychotic, Jesus. Thank you. Really. That was truly fascinating. Captain. I've seen everything I needed to see. You can leave us. Yes, Captain. Shall we go? Yep. Let's go. Leave or pretend to leave the camp. Kurt, Wilhelm has spoken. What did he tell you? He said the recruits go through hell. They are humiliated, spy on each other, get bullied. It's essentially torture. Rainer wouldn't stand for these methods. He rebelled and was summoned for night training. Are you sure he used that term? Mm -hmm. Yes. But he told me it's not really training. That recruits are summoned. And the others beat them. Sometimes to death. I know. You know about this kind of training? Yeah. I thought it was a thing of the past. What a monster. How dare he? I'm so sorry. I'm lost for words. Tell me, did you learn anything new? I scouted out the site. There's two parts of the barracks we should look at more closely. Rolf's quarters and the basement, which they refused to open for me. You're full of anger, St. Gods. Take a deep breath and think. Then tell us your plan. Let's wait for nightfall. We'll sneak into the camp unseen, search the barracks, the private quarters, and then the basement. We might also try to find out where this night training takes place. Yes. I wouldn't want other young recruits to lose their lives tonight. Especially Wilhelm. Okay. Sneak around and take a look. Let's find Rolf's office. He surely has the key to the basement. Night training orders. There's the key. 
Oh no. Nope, nope. Pick up. Pick it. Pick it up. Letter from the commander. This letter is disturbing, Kurt. It confirms that several deaths have been disguised in order to keep this camp secret. But it says that the recruits trained here have been assigned to governors from different cities. And yet I'm sure that Constantine knows nothing about these elite units. The conclusion of the letter also confirms that the commander is pleased with what's been going on here. So Torsten knew. So it seems. Including about the deaths. He's gone too far. He dishonors us all. Sieglinda was right. There's something else here. Or I saw something else. Right, down to the basement we go. Holding cell. Locked. This room. What could have happened in here? Oh my I god. Know the smell only too well. Fear, blood, death. Jesus. These people have turned this place into a site of suffering. It will take years of work to erase its traces. This document explains a lot. They torture the soldiers to break them. Rainer shows up on this list more than once. He gave them a lot of problems. Those who resist too much are lynched during night training. Rolf, you'll pay for this. Kurt, Wilhelm's name was added to tonight's training. That's the young man who helped us, isn't it? They will probably kill him for it. We can't let them kill him. We must stop this training immediately. The yep, risk definitely. is that Rolf will ambush us. If this boy dies because of us, I will never forgive myself. Right, let's find him. I refuse to let these recruits pay for the bastards who manipulate them. Let's avoid spilling blood in vain. You surprise me once again, Kurt. You are full of compassion for these youngsters. They're just kids. There has to be a way to reason with them. We'll do what we can, Kurt. Shit. I can't promise anything more. Right. I'm not sure we'll be able to stealth our way around, but... Ah, fuck. <laughs> I can't, I can't blast through that. God. <coughs> I guess this is the crux of what that, or maybe not. The, the coin guard conspiracy with the, uh, with the silver coin doesn't seem to be involved. That just seems like guards acting like gangsters. <laughs> Kurt, you're so predictable. I knew you were a bastard, but I didn't think you'd be part of this disgrace. Have fun, soldiers! The traitors must die! Stop! Soldiers, are you really going to obey these scoundrels? Do I need to remind you of the guard's motto? Where is your honor? I won't repeat myself, recruits. Execute these traitors. Soldiers, listen to your captain. You are the victims of these monsters, and we are here to save you. We surrendered without resistance, to avoid a fight and to spare your lives. Well, what do you want us to do? We have orders. And we know what will happen to us if we don't obey. Enough! To arms! Attack! Must I remind you what happened to Rainer? 
and however many others perish to fuel the ambitions of this camp's leader. Is this what you were promised when you were recruited? No. No. Honor and glory. We stray far from all that. Let's surrender. Anything is better than dying here like dogs. How dare you? You know what awaits you. Shut up, you idiot. You're no longer in a position to threaten anyone. You're finally here. <sighs> Sorry, Captain. The boy resisted longer than planned. You were spared the shame of seeing how far your comrades have fallen. What happened? They surrendered. Like the weaklings they are. That should make the next night training sessions interesting. What have you done with Wilhelm? He received the punishment for traitors and insurgents, like Rainer before him. Kurt, I'm terribly sorry. We should have... Saved him first. We're responsible for his death. You're a bleeding heart, Kurt. But you know who's really responsible. You're right. For Wilhelm! For Rainer! Recruits, attack! Yeah, they're not gonna attack. I thought we were actually going to rain. Rolf around here? That must be his corpse. Will you be all right, Kurt? Yes. Yes. I'll be fine. I'm just glad to know that this camp won't kill anyone else. You! Take care of the camp's survivors until you receive your transfer orders. It will be an honor, Captain. You'll stay here for now. I'll send men I trust to come get you soon. What do you want us to do? I'll need backup if I really want to put an end to all of this. We must go see Major Sieglinder in New Serene. I need to tell her what was going on here. Are you sure she wasn't involved? Her? Never. She's old school. She already held the commander at a distance because she didn't like the direction the guard was headed. He would have sacked her, or worse, if she didn't have so much support within the guard. I should have listened to her. There's no use brooding over the past. Let's go. We'll go see her immediately. Sieglinder, I need to talk to you. What's the matter, Kurt? We've just returned from a training camp. A secret camp, where elite soldiers are trained through terror, humiliation, and torture. Don't tell me that. Yes. One of my recruits died, and he wasn't the only one. It is designed to create a regiment of assassins. I am sorry, Kurt. I knew something was wrong, but I never would have thought it'd go that far. We put an end to it all. We had to. But Torsten allowed it, even encouraged it. I told you that the Commander's ambition would end up leading us astray from the ideals of the Guard, and that we would pay the price for it. Yes. At the time, I told you you were exaggerating. That he had his reasons. What are you gonna do? I'm going to speak out, Sieglinder. And reveal the Commander's project to the Governor of the Congregation. If I were as close to him and his family as you are, I would have done so a long time ago. I know. I feel so stupid for not having understood Torsten's scheme until now. You've always been a loyal person, Kurt. And too many loyalties are sometimes hard to reconcile. But Torsten betrayed us all. I'm counting on you to make him pay for it. Believe me, he won't get away with it. Goodbye, Sieglinder. Goodbye, Kurt. My men and I stand with you. Okay, well, what, what do we have next to do? Is that, um, let's check. Oh, so that's over for the time being, I think. Yep, definitely. So we'll see what else uh, is in store for us when we return. Yeah, I got my New Year's supplies already <laughs> uh, stocked up and whatnot. Can't wait for the traditions to start. But I thank you all for watching very much. Uh, if you liked what you saw and you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, all that on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow with more Greedfall.